You two are natural redheads. We are, yes. And I always thought when I was a kid that that kid with red hair, we all know who they were. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I mean, we started howtobearedhead.com because we thought we want to feel like we are part of the community because when we were growing up, there was nothing for us. Yeah, you we, said you were of Italian heritage. You were the only redheads. Only the redheads only red in our whole grade. Yeah. So yeah. it was definitely something. It was a learning experience growing up in... You know, you're recessed and you're the only redhead. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because when your hair is such like the star of the show sometimes, right. you right. got to figure out what complements it and what might take away from it. So, reason why you did this book. And I want to point out, too, if they're looking like a lot alike right here, I thought they were twins. You're not twins, right? No, no we're two years apart. Oh, but yeah, everyone she, thinks we are. Yeah, but you, you <laughs> clarified it in the back of your book by saying we are not twins. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, but they both have red hair. All right, let's step over here uh, and take a look at a couple of our models that you have here to illustrate what you explain in the book, just advice on makeup and colors and clothing and the whole bit. Let's start with her, for example, which, by the way, they're both wearing really pretty colors for redheads, and that is a myth that redheads can't wear bright color. And it is so true. A lot of redheads are scared of bright colors like this, but especially with the summertime, it looks great on them. So we always say, kind of go with your makeup, maybe um, go bold on the lip or your eyebrow because the color is already so bright as well as your hair. Yeah, all right, so let's take a look at her lip, for example. What would you do there? Yeah, so what we're doing is a lot of redheads think that they can't wear a red lip with wearing pink, but actually that's false. So we always start, we always like to make a note that Start with the face full of um, sunscreen, mm -hmm. which is really important. Lots of redheads are fair for, skin, right? Correct. Yes. So what we're going to do is this is a lip balm, and it's so great because it goes on really easy. You don't need a lip liner. It won't smudge. And you're just going to glide it on. And it almost feels like a lip balm, and it will add just enough pop to your color, just and enough to your lips to enhance your red in your hair as well as your beautiful bright dress. Yeah. And do you also go into your book about, like, because there's different colors of red, like more on the auburn side, more on the orange side, and some people have, like, ruby red hair. So do you go into your book just kind of different yeah, levels of... so we start the book with the different shades of red hair. And at the end, we do a fashion section, and we also do makeup throughout, and makeup based on your shade of red hair. Um, but this lipstick can really be for any redhead. If any redhead, no matter what shade, if they do a darker with blue undertones, you're guaranteed that it'll match with every single color of red. Because yeah. I'm looking at, that's so pretty, it has, it has red to it, but it also has a pink, it also has an orange to it, so it yes. kind of covers all bases. And yes. you two are wearing pinks and reds as well. All right, let's go on. Oh, let me just ask you, what trouble have you had with makeup, having red hair? Did you ever struggle with that? Mm -hmm. I have no eyebrows. As a redhead. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like you have eyebrows. Do you, do you dye? You, you have blonde them? eyebrows as redhead. Ah, okay. So you color your eyebrows mm -hmm. so they match your hair. And this yes. is a case where coloring them to match your hair really works. Mm -hmm. Which okay. is very common. Yeah, yes. yeah. All right, thank you very much. Let's go on over here to so Holly. And then what do you want to show us here with Holly with those blonde eyebrows? Right? So, yes. <laughs> Let me point out something. I asked Holly earlier, I said, are you a natural redhead? And you said... She says, I am not, <laughs> right? But there are people who, when you color your hair, you're gonna have to learn how to change your colors. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and we call those chosen redheads, meaning you weren't born <laughs> to be a redhead. But if you look but at you her, though, I mean, she has the perfect complexion exactly. of a redhead. I mean, mm -hmm. she has beautiful freckles. I love them. I yeah. just, they're amazing. That's like, when I looked at her, I said, you look like you would be a redhead, mm -hmm. naturally. For anyone who totally. wants to cover up freckles, do not do it. It yeah. is yeah. amazing. If you want to just do a translucent powder, that's all we recommend. It actually can make you look younger, I think. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. It can. I want some freckles. Okay. <laughs> All right, so tell us what you would do in her. Okay, so very easy. Um, there are many things you can do with eyebrows, especially for redheads. But if you want to test it out for the first time, the best thing you can do is start with a powder because powder is very, very natural and choose one with an auburn tone to it. And make sure that the auburn is not going to exactly match your color hair. So since you're a chosen redhead, you don't want to choose something that's the exact same color because it's going to not complement the skin and everything, you know, the whole look. So choose something that's very, very natural and it's easy. You just start putting your applicator and then you just want to concentrate on first the front part of the eye. Uh -huh. You're going to bring it out. Now, Stephanie and I are not makeup artists. Mm -hmm. We are just everyday girls who learned the child how to be a redhead yeah. on yeah. being redhead. Mm -hmm. You can go to any one of the makeup counters at the big department stores and they have people Absolutely. who will show you like what shape should look good on you. Exactly. Yeah, and shades and things as well. So we definitely always suggest doing that 
and it's always important to get your eyebrows um, shaped to how they face your face. I fit your face. Your yeah. face. Yeah. And we always want to do a before and an after. Yeah, um, this, this so see, right here. look at the difference that makes. There's such a difference. Um, and so you can really just keep going if you want, but concentrate on the front part and the arch. It's everything. Yeah. It's and, everything. And then beauty with eyebrow products nowadays is there's eyebrow um, gels mm -hmm. with stains, secure yeah. stains, eyebrow pencils. We're using a powder in particular. So do whatever you feel is right and however your hand feels really natural when you're applying it. Yeah, yeah, I and mean, doing the powder like that is nice. It looks really natural. It that does. nice little fluffy brows in right now. Yes. All right, exactly. ladies, uh, come back over here because I have a question I need to ask you. Okay, so we've talked about clothing colors. Okay. We've talked about makeup colors. Um, I was wondering about like accessories and jewelry and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, your jewelry is beautiful. Thank you Such very much. Such a beautiful redhead friendly yeah. color we call your necklace. But I think one, mm. one like piece of jewelry in particular or one thing that could go with every hair color is diamonds. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. And, and speaking of diamonds, everyone, speaking of diamonds. been nothing but phenomenal for me <laughs> and you've shown me the utmost in support and love and we have made some amazing memories together and uh, I am ready to give you the life the perfect life that you've always wanted so yoink Holly Joe Hudson oh, would you be my wife <laughs> for a wedding. <laughs> and Adrian and Stephanie, thank you very much. You had no idea this was gonna happen. Thank you very much. Love you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Producers. Okay, so Travis, we know that when you ask on TV, mm -hmm. I mean, if the woman likes you at all, she's got to say yes on TV. She has, right? Yeah, so absolutely. Is she still saying yes after you got home? She is. Oh, yeah, good. she's watched that video about 72 times. Oh, good. So, no okay. turning back now. And as we were talking over the weekend, uh, if it's a girl like, you know, Debrana, Deborah <laughs> Jr. And if it's a boy, we're going to say Debo. Debo? Debo's good. This is good. This is good. All right. Well, anyway, congratulations. Thank you. All right, so Travis is awesome. To market. Uh, so to searching for love with JoJo on The Bachelorette, next we'll talk with James Taylor about his time on the reality show and what he's up to today. Is he still single? Find out after this. Woo!